Traffic automatically configures your reverse proxy with free SSL certificates based on labels that we attach to each Docker container. Today, we will set it up for our application. A reverse proxy routes the requests to a server to the right location. For example, the request comes from the domain example.com. The reverse proxy then takes this request and brings it to container 1. If the request comes from sub.example.com instead, it will be directed to container 2. A reverse proxy serves as an additional layer of security. For example, you can configure it to only accept requests on the ports 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS, meaning all other requests are blocked. Additionally, it allows you to easily secure the traffic with your services using SSL encryption. Traffic is powerful and designed for cloud-native applications. It supports dynamic configuration and automated SSL certificates. It also has some more powerful features, such as an automatically configured load balancer when you run multiple instances of a container. But because of these powerful features, it is more complex than other options like Caddy. Go to your server and enter or create the directory where you want to set up traffic. Create the traffic configuration inside a file called traffic.yaml. First, we will set up some general configurations such as the dashboard. Next, we will add two entry points inside the entry point collection. The first entry point is web for port 80. This one has a redirect to our next entry point called web secure. The next entry point web secure will be for address 443 and using search resolver to create the SSL certificates. Next up is the search resolver inside a search resolvers collection. For that, we create the collection and add an entry called default. Inside this entry, we specify that we want to use ACME for the SSL certificates and then enter our email address, say where to store the SSL certificates and define that the HTTP challenge should be through the entry point web. Next up, we specify which containers should be observed by traffic. For that, we create the providers collection, use Docker and set exposed by default to false. That way, we can manually set which containers should be recognized by traffic. Create the docker compose.yaml for traffic and the application container. First, we specify the version and create the services collection. Then we add our first container, traffic with its image. Next, we create port mappings for 80, HTTP, 443, HTTPS, and 8080 for traffic's dashboard. Lastly, we have to create three volumes. First, the Docker socket so traffic can monitor the containers. Then the traffic.yaml, so traffic has the correct configuration. And lastly, SSL, so we can persist the SSL certificates. Next, we add our application container. We will call it frontend and add its image. We then specify two labels. First, traffic.enable, so that traffic knows to use this container for the reverse proxy. And then traffic.http.routers.frontend.rule to tell traffic when to direct requests to this container. Change the keyword frontend in this label to the name of your service or container. 
Now run Docker Compose up to create traffic and the application container. To check if it works, go to the domain you specified and you will see your application running. You will also see that it uses HTTPS and does SSL encryption. Now we set up traffic as a reverse proxy for our applications. We can now access them using the domain and the HTTPS protocol with free SSL certificates generated by traffic. In case traffic seems too complex or you want to explore other reverse proxies, have a look at the Caddy and the Nginx proxy video. Thank you for watching and happy coding.